Hello guys and welcome to episode 41 of my Cherispol campaign in Stur Division 2 playing on the Axis side. Today we're going to be defending with the 1st Battalion of the 57th Infantry Regiment. Uh, previously we defended with another infantry unit on the left here. We definitely bloodied the nose of the Soviets but today we're going to be trying to do that again against the 105th. It's going to be difficult but we will have air support so that should help things out quite a bit. Let's just see what we want to bring. Might as well bring in like the big guns, honestly. I'm probably going to do the Fock Wolves and then some recon. We'll bring in the recon group as well. That way we get the extra points, but we're not actually going to spend it on that recon group, of course. Well, I might use the recon group to spot targets for the Fock Wolves, but other than that, it's all good. It's tactical battle and we'll jump on in. So they are bringing in two artillery units. The key for me here is to just set up a good defense and then bomb the crap out of them for the next half an hour. <laughs> Pretty much. I really wish I had uh, defenses, but uh, oh well. So we just got Grens pretty much. There's not much else we can do. I've just got to create groups of grenadiers that can hold the waves of infantry back. I'm probably going to do like MG up here and then down here we'll just do a bunch of grenadiers. Get the Grenfjord in there. I might put an MG here as well. Seems like a good idea. Okay, uh, let's bring in a bunch of them here. And we'll do a leader there as well. And I'll do an MG in here. We could put one in here. Kind of want it to be in heavy cover though. Where I can move it where it is in heavy cover but still has line of sight. Uh... Oh, that'll do. Okay. And then I'm going to want to put a few here. All right, and then we're going to need something to cover the mid. Hmm. Guess we can pop IGs up here. Put one there. Put one there. Might do an IG thirty three. That there. I'll drop a grenadier. Two next to these. I don't know if I want to go there with that Gren unit. I feel like that's a bit unnecessary. Yeah, we're going to have to make some concessions just because I don't really have enough troops to hold everything. I mean, they won't really have enough troops to attack properly after a little while as well. It might be okay. I'm going to grab a couple units up there actually. And I'll put a battery filler with them so they have the extra veterancy. And then what I'm going to do is put a commandant like back here to give those guys the uh, three star veterancy. Cool. That's left us with enough points to pick up. Uh, we'll get an every economy 109 and then we'll go for multiple bombers. We'll grab these first because they have the one two fifty and the four five or oh, sorry, the one two fifty and the four fifty kilogram bombs. Which is probably the best payload. I 
And my recon ME109 coming in. We'll get my fuck wolves to hang out as well. I should be able to get some pretty decent attacks in. Nice, good bombing strike. Gonna try and bomb the big guns early on. But with every tick, more Fokker Wolves are gonna be brought in. Gonna keep hitting any units that start firing at us. Gonna grab a couple of these 500 kilogram bombs as well. I think we killed that one. I should have put down my recon actually. We'll put the recon down here in the church. I'm going to get the BMW over here. Yeah, any units that are fighting back at range, we need to take care of. The ones that come closer, they're fine, but like the Avtos. But if the Gavalia start chipping our squads at distance, it's not good for us at all. Good bombing strike. Now those are pretty bunched up. We'll get a nice bombing strike in here. This has a 500 kilogram bomb, so should do a decent chunk of damage. Yep, killed the leader as well. Nice. Good. Very good. I think what I've got to be a bit careful of is that I don't run out of ammo. I think that can happen pretty fast with the Grenadiers. You see these guys already getting low. I might preemptively send some Opal Blitzers out to the places where we're engaging a lot. Okay, hopefully these can do the job in killing off these 152s. Nice. Kills. I don't know how I'm going to get this up here. It might be worth me falling these back and not fighting over that top area. But fighting over here with the MG. I think that'd be smarter. Oh, we lost a Gren. Well, that's not good. I knew that putting them here would be a bad idea. And yeah, the Avto's got on top of us. Let's take out that unit. 
Like I would like to get like a major victory out of this, but I don't think we're going to be able to. Mainly just because I don't have enough troops to push back when we start winning. And they are already using Avtos, which is kind of a good sign. I'm not sure what this unit is. That Gren died though. The Grens with the MG34 should win that. Yeah, okay, good. Oh, nice bombing strike. Another grin down. Good. Good at all. Oh, and the MG got taken out. I need the ME109 on this right hand side because he's getting arted. That's a lot of troops. I don't think I can focus the... I don't think I can focus, like, only the artillery here. Because they're eventually just going to overrun us. Really quite bad, to be honest. Any longer range unit you know, I see, I'm just going to hit. Any Gavardia. A nice chunk of damage there at least. I think these are all out of MG ammo, yeah. Right, we're down to crappy fuck wolves now. You get rid of that mortar. The Avatars at close range just dominated my pioneers there. T Savage. A double bombing strike. Moved into phase B. 
The AI just like accidentally dodged my bomb. It's kind of annoying. I could also try and strafe some this infantry. I think it's going to get to a point though that if I manage to keep bombing them enough, that will kind of they'll kind of run out of units. I hope. Kind of bad if they don't. Good. Really good so far. Just gotta keep it up. The upper blitz might die there. Unless my fuck wolf can save it. Mm, maybe. Still not a guarantee. A lot of artillery units <laughs> coming in there. Oh well, that's sort of the bombers purchased. Ah, of course the gun feeder gets taken out. But of course. Okay, uh, let's have that fall back. Get a couple more army 109s. I'm gonna make sure we bomb any and all units like this. Get rid of the combat there. Rid of that. Rid of that. Rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, cool. I've really got to get on top of these 122s apparently because they like to fire a lot. Just as well I can one shot them with like pretty much any bomb I have. Might kill more than one there. Oh, nearly. I think they are running out of frontline infantry, otherwise they'd still be bringing it in. 
frustrating though that they are still hitting us with it. How many fuck orbs do I need? That oh, IG's almost have ammo. Right, we need to not let those just. We lost that, Gren. Well, we'll move that back. Just move that one over. Lost this area as well. Hmm. Oh, it's a PTRS squad as well. That's going to help us win that engagement, for sure. Oh, the IG got arted. Ah, it's so frustrating. But just because, like, I feel like I should be able to be on top of it all, but I'm not. Like, I'm still using losing stuff to RT, even though I'm bombing their RT, like, absolutely for free. It's kind of ridiculous. Nice, good double kill. Kind of counting on that. Might get another triple kill though. Oh, mind. It's a shame. Get rid of these Gavardia squads. The Grenadier goes down. Oh, well, let's get more recon out, see what's up. There's a lot of guns back there. <laughs> there really is. I'm going to bomb the one behind because it'll hit the one in front more, I think. going to get more of these ME109s to float about so I can continuously have targets these bombers right we're into phase C 
But honestly, I think we're all good. Take back a couple flags, we might even win. Let's just keep attacking. Just keep attacking. All we need to do. Just keep attacking. I should be able to kill all of these. Oh, they all bombed at the back there. Well, I mean, at least they got the double kill. They were meant to be spread out a bit more. I don't think I have anything else to take the front line. That's kind of awkward. Guess we'll just have to deal with a minor defeat. And technically I could take back these two flags and these two flags. This one though, I don't know what's capping that. Let's just get my beer back to go have a look care about losing them. On those, thank you very much. And let's see, we can't bring anything else, can we? There's literally nothing left. Panzerx kind of pointless. I mean, the pack 40 could work. Killing infantry. Gonna want to kill those off though if we're gonna capture that flag anytime soon. Get those bombers in. Let's see anyone else? Needs to go back. That one needs to go back. Yeah, I really think we've kind of whittled down all that they have now. Just stragglers left over. Get rid of those. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Okay. Gonna take out those. Or just one of them. <laughs> Thought it would take out both. So apparently still a minor defeat for us. Weird. I think it will flip at the last minute. Need more recon in this center area. Sie mehr. Wie 
Try and push back a little bit. Just to see if there's actually anything there. I feel like it's mostly AT guns right now. Any unit that shows itself now will have a bomb dropped on its head. We nearly captured back that flag. Still going to be a minor defeat. Nice. How about if we take back that one? Get rid of that Maxim, please. Might as well hit the supply trucks. Very good. Yeah, we're making back the ground now. Anything that stands in our way, we will kill with a fucker wolf. has been a pretty long defense. I mean, generally breakthrough defense, unless you plan to lose early. They don't really... Well, they do last a while. It just would have been nice to have defenses so I didn't have to worry as much. Is that unit still alive? It's crazy. Right, let's finish off a bunch of units with these fucker wolves. Get a couple fresh ME 109s in. Or a few. A uh, major defeat for them in five minutes. That's probably coming sooner than later. These kills coming through. Gonna push twenty one three. Okay, uh, let's see, these guys have got to go. There's actually a fresh Gavadi unit there. Oh. These bombing strikes can be really effective. Let's try and push this left flag. Don't have a leader here, unfortunately, anymore, but might be able to make it work. Especially with the fuck off support, should be easy enough. A full set of Gavardia. Like, we're quite literally just playing clean up now. Did that not come in? Well, oh, brought it in now. Total defeat for the enemy. Two minutes, 20 seconds. Very good. On that. Should open up the left side for us. Okay, 
This is quite literally all I've got. I mean, we can we could throw a pan strike at them if we wanted to. We get the LFHs out. I don't think it's that important. Like I could LFH back here, for example. Throwing counter battery, but I think just like using the recon and bombing them is just faster. I'm going to need ME109s to scout the sides, because I need targets. And even that one's dead. The poor two-man Gavardia squad. <laughs> We've almost completely wiped them out. Crazy stuff. It's a 45 mil. Is that all that's holding that right-hand side? Gonna fly over this light cover. We'll see what's in there. It looks like it's a uh, 45 mil. It's okay. In this build of the game, they only have AP. In the current build, they do have HE. Okay, nice. And that should be more or less victory. Yep, there we go, total victory. 32 minutes, 18 seconds. 365 kills. 14 losses. Don't mind if I do. We killed a ton of stuff with those Focker Wolves. The IG did really well in the middle though. Unfortunately, it's going to be gone. Yeah, bringing in those Fokker Wolves, I think, was absolutely crucial. Because if the artillery had got out of control, that would have been a really, really hard battle. We destroyed 26 A19-122 mils and 13 ML20s. Crikey. We actually only lost two units after all that. Because I guess we deployed the IGs at the start, and this uh, in this build uh, that is not fixed. Yeah, so I'm playing on a very old build, which basically only allows three different regiments in a battle. Nice air interception there. Good stuff. Any other moves to be made? Yes, <laughs> of course, this unit is dead. <laughs> oh, the poor 123rd Infantry Battalion. They tried so hard, but I think they're kind of dead. Like I might be able to, if I bring in these guys in phase B, hold out long enough just for a minor victory, might be okay. I was really hoping to secure a bridgehead this turn. Like I knew that I gave or like made a couple of these guys, um, you know, overextended. I'm kind of expecting this, especially here. Wasn't necessarily expecting it over here. But yeah, we're definitely expecting it here. But yeah, unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. This is going to be quite a tough battle, something to look forward to, but uh, my voice is giving up on me, so I'm going to have to cut it short. Thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Yeah,